Welcome, grade 7 students. Today, we'll talk about a new set. It's called rational number. At first, let's revise the sets, okay? We took C. It's mean counting numbers. Counting numbers. One, two, three, to infinity. And then we took natural number natural number consists of counting numbers and zero so zero one two to infinity then we took integer numbers integer numbers have three things z positive zero and z negative okay let's take this exercise and what do what did you deduce okay two two means two over one so two over one in the form of a over b it's like fraction a over b two belongs to z now zero zero means zero over one in the in the form of a over b so zero belong to z let's see this negative one and three over five over four okay negative one and three over four means negative seven over four i convert it from mixed number into improper fraction okay negative seven over four it's not a whole number it's a fraction decimal so it's not belong to z not belong to z so the numbers in z must be integers must must be whole numbers okay what about if i have fraction like one over two it's not whole number okay if i have any fraction or any number i can write it in the form of a over b like fraction so it belongs to rational numbers okay like what one over two three five over three two over two two over two equals one whole number all whole numbers belongs to rational number six zero point three zero point three i can write it like three over ten so i can write three, zero point three as fraction okay now 25 percent 25 over 100 so it's a form of a over b but be careful p mustn't be equal to zero p in the denominator mustn't be equal to zero okay Now, the natural number inside the integer numbers or subset from integer numbers. So, natural subset from integers. And the integers is a subset, subset of Q. Q means rational number. Okay, now, natural number and the integer numbers are subsets of Q. Okay? How can I represent a rational number on number line? Let's see this number line. 0, 1, and negative 1. Okay, if I have 1 over 4. 1 over 4 is greater than 0 and less than 1. So it will be between 0 and 1. Okay, 1 over 2. 1 over 3 is greater than 0 and less than 1. So it will be between 0 and negative and positive 1. Okay, let's take this. Negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2 is great, smaller than 0 and greater than negative 1. So, negative 1 over 0 between 0 and negative 1. Now, let's solve this exercise. 
write the following numbers on the form of a over b okay this is mixed number negative mixed number between absolute value what's the meaning of absolute value absolute value means the value inside it must be positive so absolute value will cancel negative so equal 9 and 1 over 3 okay equals to convert from mixed number into improper fraction I will do this 9 times 3 9 times 3 equals 27 27 plus 1 equals 28 over 3 don't forget over 3 okay now it's on the form of a over b let's solve this 0.15 0 0.15 means 15 over the decimal point after two numbers so will be over 100 okay let's simplify it divided by 5 over up and down so equals 3 over 20 okay 40 percent percent I will remove the sign and write in the denominator 100 Okay, so 40 in the numerator and 100 on the denominator equals divided by 10 in both sides equals 4 over 10. The two numbers is divisible by 2. So divided by 2 up and down will be 2 over 5. Okay. Write the following numbers on decimal or percentage. Okay. I will do the inverse. How? It's in the form of A over B. And I will convert it into decimal or percentage. Okay. To, con to convert for, uh, into uh, decimal or percentage, the denominator, the denominator must be 10, 100, or 1,000. So, 25 in denominator. To convert 25, I can't convert 25 into 10, but I can convert it into 100. By time is, it, multiply it by 4. So I will multiply, multiply 4 up and down. 16 times 4 equals 64. And 4 times 25 equals 100. Now, I will convert it into decimal. It will be 0 0.64. It's over 100, so the decimal point will be after two numbers. Okay, to convert it into percentage will be 64%. Okay? Absolute negative 2 and quarter. So we see that the absolute value will cancel negative 2 and 1 over 4. To convert mixed number into improper fraction, I will do 2 times 4 plus 1. 2 times 4 equals 8. 8 plus 1 equals 9 over 4. Don't forget 4. Okay, 9 over 4. Now, 4, can I convert 4 into 10? No. Into 100? Yes. How? By multiplying by 4. Uh, 25, sorry. So I will time is 25 up and down. Okay. Equals 4 times 25 equals 100. 9 times 25, 25 equals. 9 times 5 equals 45. 
write 5 and carry up 4 9 times 2 equals 18 18 plus 4 equals 22 so 9 times 25 equals 225 okay let's erase this now I convert it into decimal so it's over 100 the decimal point will be after two numbers it will be 2 and 25 okay or if I want it percentage will be 225 percent okay now last exercise 25 over 8 okay I can't convert it into 10 and I can't convert it into 100 but I can I can convert it into 1000 to convert it what in, into 1000 8 times 125 okay so I will multiply 125 in up and down so 8 times 125 equals 1000 125 times 25 okay let's do it Time is 25. Okay. Five times five equals 25. Five times two equals 10. 10 plus two equals 12. Five times one equals five plus one, six. And pot zero, two times. 125 equals 250. So it will be by adding them 5 to 3125. Okay, to convert it into decimal, the decimal point will be after three numbers. So it will be 3.125. Okay. Now, note that the rational number such 1 over 3. If I have 1 over 3 and write it on calculator, you will get this result. 0 0.333333. Okay, how can I write this decimal number? I will write 0 point only 1, 3 and the bot point above 3. What does this point mean? This point means this number is repeating. Okay, so it will be 0 0.33333. Okay, let's take this number 2 over 11. Write 2 over 11 on your calculator, you will get that 0 0.18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay, what does this mean? The, the repeated number is 18. So I will put point above 1 and point above 8. So 0 0.18 and have point, two points in over 1 and 8 means the 18 is repeating. Okay. Take this assignment to solve them. Write the following numbers on the form of A over B. Okay, I will convert all of them into fraction. The second exercise, write the following numbers on a decimal or percentage. You have fraction and convert it into decimal or percentage. Thank you for watching and goodbye.